Who do you like? Do you still like Jojo? Are you mad at him? I can't answer that question. <gasps> Gather around, you insignificant fun side meatheads. Story time with your teacher Yoon. So, I'm hoping y'all know what a crappy friend is, so hopefully none of you will be one. Peach, sit down. True, please stop annoying Alex and royalty. Nico, please put that foot <gasps> down. Blade, you're actually behaving! Somewhat. And Marcus... Marcus, please come down from there. <laughs> Alright, well, the rest of you, um... Let me tell you a story of when I was young. So, 2012, I was in 5th grade elementary school, and I had a friend, and I'm going to call her Leek. Like, leaking information- NOW! Leek back then was very sweet. I remember our first instance together in the second grade. I saw she was struggling to clean the chalkboard all by herself and I thought I'd help her. And since then we became friends or at least acquainted. I had other friends in elementary school as well, but as we grew up, Everyone kind of moved on to other things, and I ended up being left behind by a lot of them. Leek, though, was someone I got to know more about in 5th grade. This was also the time, however, I noticed how different she was from back then since we became a little bit more closer this time. She seemed to be more interested in trends and things that popular girls would be into, like getting their nails done and makeup, oh my god. <laughs> And I had no such interest because I was busy vibing and playing Pokemon, watching anime, and insinuating violent- I mean, playing sports with the boys. So, we already had our differences there. Now, around this time, I had a crush on someone. We'll call him Jojo. Now, Jojo, he was your basic popular boy, and I liked him for basic reasons at the time. He was cute, he was nice to me, and he tried singing and rapping to me once, I guess, to impress me? But, you know, elementary school crushes start off shallow, so it was just a little puppy love I had. Now children, here's a question from your teacher. No worries, there's no right or wrong answer. Probably. If you had a crush on someone, what would you tell them? Would you tell them your feelings or say nothing? I don't need to. They're already into me, so they'll tell me. That's very funny. Um... Oh, I'll tell them everything I like about them, like their boob size and the color of panties they're wearing. Okay, that's enough of you. Yes, Marcus. I would eliminate all competition, including their family. Oh! Okay, we're getting back to the story because for little Yoon, around this time, Valentine's Day was approaching, and for some reason, my parents thought it would be cute if I bought him chocolates, and I was like, oh, like a secret admirer, right? Oh no, you should totally like, totally slap your name on it, oh my gosh, it would be so cute. <laughs> They somehow convinced me that it would be a great, cute memory for him and me. In order to do this operation, I needed to give him the chocolate somehow without doing it in front of a bunch of people. I needed, like, preparation and stuff. So, the day before Valentine's Day, I went up to him. Hey, um, Jojo? Could you meet me outside for a sec? Hmm? Sure. So, tomorrow, before gym class, could you stay in the classroom for a bit until everyone leaves? Please don't tell anyone. Oh, sure. <laughs> Yo, what happened? Hmm? She, uh, she told me to meet her tomorrow. Why is he telling them? I literally just told him not to say anything. What the heck? Yeah, so I'm just standing there, an embarrassment, listening to him just tell them like that. Like, what am I supposed to do? Hello? What? Do you want me to keep reading the script? Yeah, sorry about that. Just your daily dose of <clears throat> Anyway, we move. After that, I was too embarrassed to go in there and face them. I ended up staying in the bathroom for a little longer, and after some time thinking they were gone, I was about to go out, and wouldn't you know it, I hear all the popular girls out there talking to Jojo, and one of them goes, OMG, OMG, it's love, it's love! 
I felt my heart sink, and I ran into the bathroom stall in embarrassment. I trusted him. Maybe he could have been pressured into a corner, but at that moment, I was too embarrassed to face anyone. I was gone for a while, so two other popular girls came into the bathroom to check on me, but I didn't trust them one bit, honestly, so I just didn't say much to them. And so, the next day came, and it was Valentine's Day. I didn't know if I really wanted to do this, but I made it this far. I had the chocolate, I had the card, so I gathered the little bit of courage I had and waited for him before gym class while everyone left. Sort of. They were literally outside the freaking window because none of the kids could shut up about it, so there was no point in asking him on meeting me one-on-one -on -one before gym class. Gosh freaking darn, even the teacher was there. Hello? Privacy? Who is she? I don't know her. Okay. <laughs> uh, go away! What the hell? Um, so I wanted to give this to you. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. Thank you. Leave! What the heck? Pretty much everyone knew about it. And during this time, I was still friends with Leek, if you're wondering where she went in the story. She's still here, unfortunately. Hi, hello. Gosh, freaking darn, she's still there. But there was one, one thing Leek always seemed to want to talk about. And it was my crush, Jojo. What a guest. Now, I might be stupid at times. Shut up, Marcus. But I'm not that stupid. I used to tell her before all this happened, but I became pretty sus of her after a while. This was also around the time she started hanging out with me less and she would be talking to the popular girls a bit more. I'd also get side glances from them, which was kind of weird to me as well. I confirmed my suspicions when she kept asking me, who do you like? Do you still like Jojo? Are you mad at him? Why is she always asking me questions? She never tells me anything. She just seems to always want to ask about him. I can't answer that question. <gasps> Why? Tell me! I'm your best friend! What kind of best friend does this crap? She's always asking me for stuff she needs lately. I don't owe her any explanation. I know, but I just don't want to tell anyone. Ugh. What the fuck are you doing? She won't tell me. She won't tell me. She won't tell me. I knew it! I called it! Two-faced mother- I heard that, you know. Uh... Fuck this shit, I'm out. Does she think I don't have two of my five senses? Like, hello, peekaboo, I see you in front of my face, you poo. They think I'm that stupid or something. Like, you make a whole scene. I'm your best friend. And do that. Best friend my <coughs> ass. <coughs> Flowey, I'm not dealing with that. She was using me. Anything I trusted her with, she's just straight up telling them. All of it. Since I didn't tell her anything anymore, it became fairly obvious she just started talking crap about me to the popular girls since the side glances just became more apparent. And for some reason after a month or so, Jojo was ignoring me. And there were just rumors after rumors of him liking some other girl. And so I was like, you know what? I'm moving on. I was tired of the drama, I was sure he didn't like me back, I even heard people saying that Jojo liked Leek? Like, why though? But the rumors were just so exhausting, I just didn't care anymore. Eventually, while hanging out with the other classmates, I started realizing that there are other people who went through the same torment from Leek like I did. She really was two-faced, and she was mean to them as well. We got along really well for a bit. I thought I had real friends this time. Thought I did. I really thought that for a while. But I didn't. Which there will be a part two. Class dismissed for now. <laughs> That's such a sad story. Aw, oh, Peach, you're so sweet. Yeah. Oh, and you too, Blade. Mango, oh, you the Bali, can that? Y'all better leave before I give you detention. Yo! <laughs> what am I gonna do with them little rascals?
Hello. <laughs> Sorry it took so long for the video to come out. It's finally here. But um, let me know what you think uh, because part two also gets quite crazy. <laughs> like pretty crazy. And uh, also I want to thank my friends for being a part of the video, being my students. You know, I enjoy being teacher Yoon as you can tell. It's it was fun. And I also have like some fan arts people have made for me from my friends and my fans on Instagram and Twitter. It it started as a joke and then it kinda evolved into something I could not comprehend. And uh it was pretty crazy. <laughs> but here they are. And I also wanna thank my friend Hyunjun for helping me color in the stuff for the video. And I will also try to get part two out soon. And uh I love you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.